In this cardiovascular lab, we're going to look at the artery and vein model made by 3B Scientific. Okay, as you take a look at this model, we have two veins, a vein on this side, and then we've opened up a vein right here to expose the valves. And in the center, we have an artery. Let's take a look at the different parts of the vein. And actually in both the vein and the artery, we're going to have three what we call tunics uh, or layers. And these layers are going to be made up of multiple parts, which we'll go over. Uh, but we have the tunica intima or interna, which is the innermost layer. We have the tunica media, which is made up of smooth muscle. Okay. And then we have the tunica externa. So let's take a look at uh, the vein and the artery. They're going to look a bit different just because veins are low pressure systems, whereas arteries are high pressure systems. So arteries are exposed to much higher pressures than veins are. I remember one time scrubbing in for what was going to be uh, an organ harvest, basically, uh, from an organ donor. And... Uh, the one thing I really remember, and the surgeon had me get in a bit closer to to uh, see what was going to happen here, uh, but I remember when he cut the the large artery going through the abdomen, which is the abdominal aorta, cut that, the blood ran out, but the artery stayed round, okay? Because it it's, has a much greater structure than a vein does. Well, right next to that is the inferior vena cava, again, which is a large vein. When that was cut, it just went flat and floppy. So again, because veins are low pressure systems, they don't have the structure that an artery does. Okay. So let's take a look at this vein. So the vein is going to have, again, we said a tunica intima or tunica interna. And it's made up of a couple of parts here. We have the endothelium. Okay, so this is the endothelium. And then we have the subendothelium, which is made up of connective tissue and basal lamina. Okay, so connective tissue and basal lamina. And then uh, the endothelium. And this endothelium, if you take a look, it's going to be very thin. It's going to be one cell layer thick. As a matter of fact, the type of tissue it is, is simple squamous epithelium. Okay, simple squamous epithelium. And one more part of the tunica interna is this internal elastic lamina. Again, in the vein, it's going to be a lot thinner. Okay, so again, for the tunica intima, we're going to have the endothelium. We're going to have the connective tissue in the basal lamina. And then we're going to have the internal elastic lamina. Okay. And then next we have the tunica media. Again, this is made up of smooth muscle. And next we have the tunica externa, which is the outermost layer here. And it's going to be made up of uh, connective tissues and elastic fibers, etc. And if we take a look at this, where the uh, vessel has been cut, the vein has been cut, you'll see coming from the endothelium, and it's made from endothelial tissue, but it's these valves. These valves are incredibly thin. Okay. Um, they look very thick in the model here, but these are tissue paper thin. Okay, uh, but they allow for blood flow in one direction. Remember, I said veins are low pressure systems, so there's not much pressure going on here. When we take a blood pressure, we take it from an artery, we don't take it from a vein, uh, again, because of the low pressure. So, as the heart contracts or as muscles squeeze around a vein, it's going to push the blood through the, the valve, the valve in this case would open up and blood would 
uh, be forced into the upper part of the vein and then in between a heartbeat and in between a muscle contraction that blood is going to settle out but it'll stop because of the valve so we get this ebb and flow so blood will push past the valve as it goes to settle back down it'll close the valve it'll push through the next valve and again the valve will close and uh, catch the blood so this is kind of like step ladder motion that the blood is taking to get back to the right side of the heart okay and then these are feeder veins that are going to be bringing blood in from uh, the body and dumping it into the larger vein all right and so next let's take a look at the artery again the artery is going to have much thicker walls if we look at an artery in a vein under a microscope one thing that we're going to see is that the artery is round and that the vein is going to be kind of flat and oval and very irregular in shape again because when we're looking at a slide there's no blood in the artery or the vein and so the vein's going to collapse down a bit and become irregular okay so again with the artery we're going to have the tunica intima or tunica interna and again it's going to be made up of endothelium so here's our endothelium then it also has a sub endothelium that's going to be made up of connective tissue and basal lamina okay and then we're going to have a thicker internal elastic layer okay so here's the internal elastic layer and again that's the tunica intima or tunica interna of the larger artery here tunica media is going to have much thicker muscular layer okay and um, this is uh, going to be again smooth muscle our tunica externa which is going to be made up of an external elastic lamina and right here this is going to be our connective tissue uh, layer of elastic fibers and then we're also going to have what's called a vasa vasorum okay vasa vasorum and this is uh, basically a vessel that's going to bring blood to um, the artery okay if it's a thick enough artery a large enough artery uh, it's going to need a blood supply and so it has its own blood supply here with the vasovasorum just so that this tissue all gets fed okay moving on here we're going to see that uh, this is a section where we have uh, valves okay and in this first one we see it surrounded by muscle okay over here uh, this is also some skeletal muscle longitudinal section of skeletal muscle um, this would be adipose tissue also surrounding the vessels uh, but right here let's suppose this is uh, some muscle in your calf okay your gastrocnemius muscle all right it would be surrounding uh, the vessel and every time you contract your muscle or walk it's going to squeeze the vessel and help push that blood up to the heart okay now when you sit for a long period of time that blood can pool and that's not a good thing uh, because pooled blood tends to want to clot and this is where you can develop a clot within uh, these vessels and a clot that is uh, stuck is going to be called a uh, thrombosis so if it's not moving if it's stuck to the side of the wall of the vessel it's a thrombosis if it breaks loose we call that an embolus okay an embolus and then we run the risk of that going to our lungs basically and um, causing quite a bit of damage if it's large enough it can be really serious and even cause death now moving over here this valve you can see that the or, or this vein i should say the valves don't quite close on each other these are very incompetent valves 
and the blood is just going to leak backward okay and you see how stretched out the walls are this is a varicose vein okay so again if the blood is not going forward it can leak backwards and yes you can have increased risk of thrombosis all right well i hope this helped